guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sandra today I have a brand new intro for a project pan for you it's called throwback 30 it is in collab with the fantastic ladies over on Facebook um, I was not originally gonna do this project because it is 30 projects and that's a bit daunting to start off with um, but you know what it's a year-long project pan it started on the 16th today is currently the 23rd so I'm about a week late but that's okay um, we have a year to do it so it ends next year May 16 2020 um so it's just a bunch of old projects some currently going on right now um of the fantastic lady so i'm just gonna get into it because this is gonna be a long video if you hear little pitter patters of pause or my dogs are in here <laughs> so they're just walking around right now so let's just go ahead and get started i have my little notebook here um so yeah so for the first one it's gonna be 12 days of christmas so it's gonna be like the 12 like the song so i chose nine ladies dancing and so for that i would like to finish up um from the bobby brown nude on nude palette um the damask ball it's this like pink shade here it's really pretty it's i could even use it as highlighter um so i would like to finish that up and then for two is 50 shades of panning so it has to you know it's based off of 50 shades of 50 shades of gray <laughs> and it's pretty much just like sex themed or whatever so i chose um i didn't participate in this one or the 12 days so I chose ColourPop's Get Lucky. I don't know if this is... Yeah, this is the one that falls out. Um, if I can, I would like to finish this. That'll be my goal. So Get Lucky, you know. And then three is Seven Deadly Pan. So it's a color for every sin, Seven Deadly Sin. So I chose Envy. Um, so that's going to be NYX Jaded. And for this one, I would just like to hit Pan. Um, as you can see, I have a bit of a dip and it looks like I hit pan, but that's not pan. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what that is. But anyways, I've had this for a long time, so I would like to go ahead and hit pan on that, get a little more use out of it. And then next is going to be for hashtag let's get naked. So it's any of the naked palettes or dupes for the naked palettes. I actually have the newer, this is the only naked palette I own. It's the Naked Reloaded. And so I chose... Reputation, which is, let me see, let me find it before. It's this one. So I want to finish that up actually. So I just noticed it's pure eyeshadow so far. <laughs> okay, next is A to Z. Um, so letter from the alphabet, I chose C for Catnap, ColourPop Catnap. Um, this was one of their limited editions with uh, No Kill LA collab. I'm close to hitting pan, but I would like to finish this up. Um, I really, really like it. It's kind of sheer with like glitter. It's really pretty. It's a really nice topper. Um, next for six, Birthstone Beauty. Um, it's for the birthstone for each month. And I chose um, January, which is Garnet. Because I actually just got this from work. Um... I got it as gratis from work. It's a Stila Duo in Garnet. Um, so I would like to hit pen on each. As you can see, I've only swatched them once, I think. <laughs> so I would like to hit pen. Um, next, for Budget Beauty, I want to go ahead and finish up this Wet n Wild foundation stick. Got stuck on the cap. Um, so I've used a, a good amount of it. It looks like this. Um, I'll measure and weigh everything after I film. I borrowed my sister's um, food scale again, so I'll go ahead and do that after. And if I remember, I'll go ahead and put it in the description box below. Uh, for number eight, it's going to be Cupid's bow. So anything that reminds you of like love, Valentine's Day, something like that. ABH Modern Renaissance. Um, I would like to finish up Love Letter. So I don't have pen in it or anything yet. I was going to go with this one, um, Venetian Red, but I would like to challenge myself and try and finish this one up. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, next is Destination Pen. So it's somewhere you would like to visit or, you know, a product with a name in it. So I'm choosing um, Ofra's Rodeo Drive. I would like to finish this up. I already have, you know, some, some progress in there, so I would like to finish it up. It's pretty blinding, so I think... I'm going to inner corner that one, highlight, maybe brow bone. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> 
And then next is Disney animated films and I chose Mulan. Um, I chose Max Lady Danger because you know Mulan is a badass. So <laughs> that's what that looks like. I used to wear this all the time. And then I think I just fell into myself and I wasn't wearing as bright colors anymore. Um, but I really would like to get back into that because I know I love the formula and I love the color as well. Next for Disney Princess, um, so it's the princesses and they have each assigned colors. So for Ariel, it's teal and purple. I don't know if this is considered purple, but I'm considering it purple. <laughs> um, so I would like to hit pan on Clinique's Pansy Pop. It looks like this. How pretty is that color? I feel like it's so unique for a blush. It's so pretty. I've never used this. This is brand new. I've just swatched it very lightly. Um, so yeah, I would like to hit pan on that. Um, next is going to be drop 10 before summer. So anything summer themed. So for that, I actually just got this too. It's, uh, Becca's, um, sunset waves. I got this when Costco had it for like more than half off. Um, so it looks like this. It did come shattered a little bit right here on the corner. You can't even see it, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I would like to hit pen on that. It's stunning. If you guys have ever tried it, it's really, really beautiful. Um, next, every day is a holiday, so pick, pick a holiday and a product for that, and I chose 4th of July, and I chose Tarte Sparkler, so I want to go ahead and finish this up. Next is Fall For You, it's a product that you love, and so I had chosen, um, MAC's Deep Dark Brunette Brow Pomade. It's not so much something I love, but something I would like to love, <laughs> um, so far, like, I, there's use in it, um, as you can see, but I know this is going to take a long time and it's still, like, I got this, um, I think for my anniversary in November, so I've had it for about six months and I just want to give it more love, um, and I got it in the fall, so there you go, <laughs> I didn't even realize, okay, anyways, yeah, I would like to just hit pan or make more, you know, or hit the bottom of the jar and then just work on it, because I'm about to finish the brow um product i'm using now so i thought it was a good opportunity and then fire and ice so it's colors for fire and colors for ice i chose white um this is the way leaving conditioner um this is brand new you can see there's still the plastic on here um so i want to go ahead and finish this up i got this in my fab fit fun i believe um next is golden girls and then so there's prompts for every um golden girl pretty much and so i chose rose and i would like to hit pan on this um pixie a uh, fresh fresh face blush in beach rose um so yeah i actually really really enjoy this color um so i'm excited for that and then next is harry potter so from the houses you pick their colors so for slytherin it's green and silver and i'm just choosing one color silver um, and I'm doing the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 5. This is also brand new, but these don't come with like a ton of products, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, but yeah, this is brand new. I want to go ahead and finish that one up. And then for number 18, it's heavy metal. So anything that has to do with a heavy metal or like a heavy metal band, which I think is so funny, but like so cute. <laughs> Um, so I actually just received this in my Allure Beauty Box, I think, last month. So it's Natasha Denona's 124K Bronze Age. Um, so it looks like this. Brand spanking new. I haven't even swatched it. I would like to hit pen on this. This is my first Natasha Denona product, so I'm actually really, really excited. <laughs> um, next is going to be Justice League. And so it's the characters from the Justice League. And then... Um, it's just their name. So for this one, Wonder Woman, I would like to finish up the Benefit Quickie Contour Stick. I got this in a little set. So it looks like this. I've used it a couple of times. As you can see, it's a little slanted. Um, I've used it two, three times maybe because I wanted to save it for a project. Um, next for the, uh, oh, lip service. I would like to work on Beeper from ColourPop. Um, I love this one. It's amazing. I wore it in my engagement photos. I've worn it like for special occasions and stuff like that. It gets 
darker than what's here but I love it it's really really easy to wear but unfortunately I feel like it's starting to go not go but just like it's getting older in age I've had it for a couple years now I don't even remember when I got it so um it's getting there and I love it so I would like to just work on that one um for number 21, it's going to be the Marvel, Marvel Avengers. I cannot speak today. Um, and so for Black Panther, his color is black as well as I think Black Widow's in there and another one. Um, but he was the first one I saw. So I want to go ahead and finish this Julep Nail Polish in Jet. I am about halfway or so. Um, but this is older as well. It's like four... Four years old so I would like to just go ahead and finish it up if I can um, and then number 22 is mean girl mean girls quotes from the movie and so I chose on Wednesdays we were pink and I'm gonna go ahead and try and finish up this Dove hairspray because of the pink on the packaging um, I like that one it's nice it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy or anything like that um, so I like that one and I just I tend to forget about my hair care so I kind of wanted to incorporate some of it into this one and I thought it was a good opportunity um, next is movie madness and I chose the bombs take home the bronze in Oliver looks like this I've been wanting to work on this one but I felt bad because I'm panning two other ones um, but yeah, looks like this. I would like to finish that up. It's pretty small, so I think I can do it. And I really like it. I've used it about three, four, five maybe. Um, because I've also been holding off for a project. Um, next is the panning game. So this is based off of, um, oh my god, what is the name of it? The Hunger Games. <laughs> The Hunger Games, and so you randomize from 50 products. I actually randomized my entire makeup collection, and I got the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. I also received this in an Allure Beauty Box, I think. I think last month also. So I want to go ahead and finish this up. This is a pretty nice size. I don't think it'll be that hard. Um, next is 25 Peeping Pan. So it's just pretty much like you hit pan. Your goal is to hit pan. So, um... Or just like set a goal for yourself. It's not necessarily hit pen. So I would like to work on the Smashbox um, highlight shade from this palette. I'm already working on it. So I was like, ah, why not? <laughs> um, so it's this. I've kind of already worn off the pattern as you can see. So I use that every day to set my under eye concealer. Um, and I just, I've been neglecting this palette. So I would really like to um, get some use on it. I've had it for since November as well. Um, next is 26, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, and this is just based on Christmas songs, hymns, whatever you want to do. Um, so I chose this Bath and Body Works Magic in the Air, um, body cream. Their body creams are my favorite. I don't like the body lotions, but these are, this is where it's at. Um, so Magic in the Air, I just, I love Christmas. And this is not necessarily like a song, but... Um, so next is 27 rolling perfume roulette. I have about three or four perfumes, so I just chose, um, and I chose this little sample of the Versace Dylan Blue. It's the Eau de Perfume, Parfum. Um, so it's a little baby and it looks like this. <laughs> As you can see, it's like right about the rim. I'm not going to mark this cause come on, I'm not going to mark this. This is so cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna work on that one and then next is 28 skin is in and I would like to go ahead and start working on this pharmacy clean B ultra gentle facial cleanser. This is brand new. I've never used it. So I'm excited because I've heard really really good things about the pharmacy um, and it has a cute little bee on it like yeah, so I'm excited to work on that. I would like to finish it. I also, when did I get this? I think this was a boxy charm. I can't remember. Anyways, I'm going to work on this. It's uh, 3.4 fluid ounces. I'm almost done with my face wash. I have about this much left, so this will probably be next month. Um, 29 is throwing shade, and I'm just going to go ahead and start with the Bobbi Brown palette. Um, I'm not sure how that works in this project particularly, but um, maybe it'll be the same. Maybe I'll do like one month, one palette kind of thing. Because I'm pretty sure I have, 
heavy enough to do the four years. So I think we'll do that. And then for 30, which is the last one, it's turn and burn. So this is pretty much like your gimme products, just things to kind of keep you motivated um, that you can get out of your stash pretty quickly. So I am going to be starting with the um, like sample size, I guess, of the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. This is brand new. Um, looks like this. I really like this. I had a sample of it a couple like last year maybe and I really enjoyed it and it'll be nice for when the weather decides to fix itself and get warm <laughs> and then I'm throwing in two so the philosophy hope in a jar um peeling mousse so this is also a sample as you can see um and turn and burn I think is just samples and then so it looks like this so this is very cute this is new to me so hopefully uh, my skin likes it and then yeah that's it i'm so sorry if i if it felt rushed at all i just it's 30 products and i didn't want you guys to be here all day if you guys want a little bit more explanation on each of the categories go ahead and leave that down in the comments and i'll go ahead and answer um as best i can if i can fit um actually no because i have to go to individual things but yeah if you guys have any questions go ahead and um leave your questions in the comments and i'll go ahead and answer them um i don't think that this is gonna be a rolling maybe for turn and burn and peeping pan um we'll see how overwhelmed i am with all of this <laughs> as we go through the year because i am doing 19 in 2019 a to z um What's the, those are my two biggest ones and I'm finishing up the panning games but that ends in August um so yeah I am gonna be working on quite a bit so I just yeah we'll see how it goes I think I really wanted to challenge myself with this project by adding in a lot of brand new um, items because you know I really want to see use in my collection and I feel like I've been neglecting a lot of it because I am project panning so it's kind of like a double-edged sword because you want to focus but then you neglect at the same time so I just kind of want to spice it up there's a little bit of everything in this project which I actually am really excited about um, but yeah we have a year to work on this so I'm actually really excited I'm making good progress on my other projects so I thought you know what let's just do it um I'm gonna be doing this one instead of a project that's coming up next month um just because I found it easier to pick products for this one and the other one I was kind of struggling and kind of like forcing myself to put products into and make it work when it didn't really make sense so I'm like, you know what, perfect time, perfect opportunity, let's do Throwback 30. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to see everyone else's intros. And if you want to join in, go ahead and check out the link down below that I'm going to leave for the Facebook group. And feel free to join in. This is such a fun project and it's a year long. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.